Hello students, today I am going to take lecture on Advanced Java Unit 6 Hibernate. In this video, I am going to teach you Hibernate Query Language which is also known as HQL. Hibernate Query Language, the Hibernate ORM framework provides its own query language which is known as HQL. This HQL is same as SQL that is structured query language but it doesn't depends on the table of database. Instead of table name, it depends on class name in HQL. So here in SQL, if we are writing select star from table name student, in SQL student is table name. While in HQL, if I am writing select star from student, then student is a type of object in my Java class. Therefore, it is database independent query. That is, HQL is a database independent query language. Whatever database is being used in backend, for example, MySQL or SQL Server, then HQL queries are database independent and during runtime, it is being converted to form suitable for particular database. Characteristics of HQL. HQL queries are similar to SQL queries. Here, HQL syntax is very similar to our standard SQL system. If you are familiar with SQL, then writing HQL query is pretty easier. Second characteristic, HQL queries are fully object oriented. HQL doesn't use real name of table as we are using in SQL columns. It uses instead class and property name. HQL can understand inheritance, polymorphism as well as association concept of object oriented. Third characteristic is it reduces size of queries. So as HQL is database independent, so there is fixed format for any type of operation performed into the database. So eventually it reduces size of the query. Now we are going to study comparison of SQL and HQL query. So first of all, select query. In SQL, we are writing for JDBC application, result set rs equal to statement dot execute query. And within that, I need to write SQL query select star from table diet. Now, if I want to write same thing in HQL, then query object as we all are familiar with hibernate architecture then query object we are creating for execution of query equal to session object dot create query so for particular transaction session object is being used from diet so select query in hql is query object equal to session object dot create query and within it i need to write from diet DIET. Here DIET is not table name but it is a persistent class which is mapped with DIET table of my RDBMS. Then select query with where close. In SQL we are writing select star from table name where ID equal to 301. While in HQL same session dot create query but instead of uh, only specifying persistent class name we are also specifying where close so from DIT where ID equal to 301 so here again DIT is persistent class which is mapped with RDBMS table DIT next example update query update query of SQL by using prepared statement so update query is update table name set name equal to question mark with where close id equal to question mark and in late binding with the help of prepared statement i will be substituting value of name as well as id if you remember jdbc we were using prepared statement object con dot prepare statement and within that we need to supply query then need to set string and set integer using late binding methods prepared statement dot set string with first question mark as name DIT underscore computer engineering that is C and uh, set integer ID 2 comma our college ID 054 and prepared statement dot execute update method. If I want to write same query with HQL then first line would be same as select query that is query object then session dot create query and update user set name 
equal to n and id equal to i instead of question mark i need to use some object name here user is also a persistent class so q dot set parameter i need to change value of class object and then with the help of hibernate mapping it will reflect the same changes to my database table so q dot set parameter instead of n i need to write ditc and uh, set parameter instead of i i need to supply college code 054 and in teacher status some in teacher value q dot execute update if we remember in jdbc also execute update method returns in teacher value so here also i have declared in teacher next is insert query in sql we were writing insert into table name values and execute update while in hql First line will be similar to select query, query object, session object, create query. Within it, I need to write insert query where here again the stock is not a table. It is persistent class name and then execute update. Next difference between HQL and SQL. So first difference, HQL can write database independent query while this is not case with SQL. SQL need to write query based on database used in backend. Second difference, in HQL, the query result is not just data, but a combination of object that can be modified programmatically as every data is considered as object in HQL. While in SQL, the query result is in form of data and in backend, we need to handle this retrieved data as we have handling in JDBC using result set interface. Third difference, HQL implement all the object oriented concepts starting with polymorphism, inheritance, data abstraction, etc. Why? SQL, the backend is a relational database which rarely implements object oriented concepts. Fourth difference, HQL is concerned about persistent object and its property. Here persistent object are object that are mapped with our RDBMS. While SQL manipulates data stored in tables and modify its rows and column instead. Fifth difference, HQL is concerned about relation between object while SQL is concerned about relationship that exists between two tables. So with this, we complete Hibernate query language and difference between HQL and SQL. Thank you all.